Warning. Channel Robazoid contains adult language, adult content, strong opinions, and verbal brutality. Viewer discretion is advised. <laughs> Hi, hello, what's up, how are you? What do you think, what do you hear, what do you feel, what do you know, what have you done, uh, what do you know, what do you like, what do you know, what's going down, K-Pasa, K-K, what you call you, Pasa, K, what it is. It is I, the Robozoid, uh, and I've been kind of waiting for this moment for the last week or so, and this was a one-off debate between Ron DeSantis, Florida governor, and California governor, Eni Tusum Newsom. Yeah, gruesome, newsome, well, just basically Gavin Newsom, whatever you want to call him. And I was kind of hoping, I'm going to be honest, before we get into it, I was kind of hoping that the moderator would be somebody super intelligent, uh, like somebody like Laura Ingram, I guess, or maybe even Judge Jeanine Pirro. But unfortunately, the best Fox could settle with was Pond Vanity, the wall banger himself, whom we know has a history of lying to his audience, and also is not the brightest bulb on the Christmas tree, shall we say. I guess I can say that now because it's December 1st. Um, in any case, well, the debate went down between DeSantis and Newsom, and to say that it got heated is an understatement. Um, and you had little pawn vanity in the middle trying to be the moderator, and he does not try to uh, break up this fight one way or another, and you'll see that as we get into it. So let's take a look at it, okay? Welcome back to, Welcome back to Hannity, the great red state, blue state. Yeah, you remember who you are, don't you? Governor Newsom, Governor Ron DeSantis, uh, according to the Department of Housing and Urban Development, uh, these are the numbers for the homeless it's population amazing. in each of your states. He's actually wearing a tie here. In the state of California, it is 172,000. Oh, I thought he said homo population. He said homeless per population. Numbers are pretty much the same. For California, it is 44 per uh, 10,000 people. While I'm sorry, Vanity, but is there a point to all this? So, There's got to be. Governor DeSantis, uh, I ask you, why the disparity? What are the policies you are implementing that is different from that of California. California's adopting leftist policies. Gavin Newsom was uh, governor or uh, mayor of San Francisco. He put out a 10 year plan like 20 years ago. He was gonna end homelessness. Then a few years later, he had another plan. And now he says he's gonna do, and it's only gotten worse. In the last 10 years in California, the homeless has gone up 45%. It's gone down in Florida, 45%. But it's caused a huge problem with quality of life in, in California. The people that flee always bring up this They've really empowered lawlessness and drug use. And, you know, Gavin Newsom at one point tried to say that California was the freedom state. And I just kind of laugh like you're locking people down. You're doing all this. Uh, but then I thought about it. You know, California does have freedom. He does make a good uh, point here. Uh, they the, used to call it the freedom, freedom state the or, or the golden state, state, rather. But now it's pretty much uh, the gray state. A homeless encampment under a freeway and even light it on fire. You have the, the freedom to uh, have an open air drug market and use drugs. You have a yeah, that's why it's not the golden state anymore. It's the shit so, state. So freedoms, the streets aren't paid with gold. The streets are paid with mission, shit. But they have contributed to the destruction of the quality of life in California, and the results speak for themselves. People are leaving the state because they have failed in addressing the homeless population. Well, I love that. I love Good for DeSantis. So, yeah, you see that Pond Vanity is in the middle of all this, trying to be the referee, and it's not really working out because he doesn't really know how to referee. Uh, quite frankly, uh, DeSantis and Newsom go at it, and there's nothing, that, there's nothing that Hannity can say. I mean, it gets even more and more heated as we go on. Take a look at this and, the, and the, uh, what DeSantis points out about Newsom's state. I mean, here's a guy who's criminalizing teachers, criminalizing doctors, criminalizing librarians, and criminalizing... Women. Librarians, moron, not They're librarians. Harder to vote. You're banning books. I mean, spare me this notion of freedom. Ask the folk. No, no, spare me your ridiculous sermon, okay, Newsom? Just spare me. He's not... DeSantis is not criminalizing teachers or criminalizing librarians. 
No, he's criminalizing teachers who teach ridiculous crap like LGBT nonsense to five-year-olds. And he's criminalizing what Disney is doing to these said children. You doofus, you. I might as well let the bum continue speaking. At Disney about freedom and free enterprise. Ask the folks at the Special Olympics that you threatened to fine with 27 because Nobody you know, watches the Special Olympics. Goes you after those Special Olympics when it comes to the issue, Down syndrome. Of that is wrong. That's being a liberal issue. bully. You know, That's being a bully. Really? They had Down syndrome and you wanted to discriminate Olympians. against them. $27 All right, now let's watch Vanity lose control of this debate like he always loses control. And you wanted the athletes marginalized. That was wrong what you did. These are kids with Down syndrome that just wanted to compete. I grew up working you wanted them, you wanted them special kids. I've been Olympics. working with special You're a liberal all my life. You wanted them to be, you wanted them to be ostracized. You I taught, you should talk to Isabella from Florida. You know, you treat and you say nothing, vanity. It gets even better, actually, when, uh, when DeSantis points out that people are leaving California in droves and moving to places like Texas and his own home state of Florida because the crime and the shit on the streets is just so out of control in California, particularly in San Francisco. And uh, it just gets more and more exciting from there. And... You'll see, you'll hear, you'll hear, um, Newsom have some incomprehensible nonsense about, uh, about how he's taxed all these women, about how DeSantis has taxed all these women, and he doesn't care about trans rights, and blah, 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 and who gives a damn about any of that? But DeSantis really fires back at him. Take a look at this. I'm used to that. But you know what? You wanted her Your attacks on the trans community, you your attack on the gay and lesbian community. That's wrong. You attack she should vulnerable have been able to communities. We, they, you we attack women. That, and we made sure that you He doesn't attack yeah. women. I can handle And the trans community, they're not even human anyway. I understand that. They're just freaks who need psychological help. Why did you want the special the way, Olympians not to be able to compete? How well is this campaign going for you? Why do you want them not to be able to compete? How well is this why campaign do you not going? Want them to be He's able not going to let me talk. So I don't talk understand to why you would want to discriminate. Again, I'll remind you, you that the blueprint. He wanted He's not going to let you talk because you have nothing to say, gruesome Newsom. DeSantis is 41 points down to Donald Trump as you try to get tough. We said that. Trump. All right, if these guys will quit arguing, let's try to find out what the wall banger has to say, okay? In the state of people leave Florida to go to California because they pay less taxes. Uh, I've not seen that. Are people going to from Florida to New York because they pay less taxes? Of course not. They come to Florida because they pay lower taxes. We don't even have an income tax. And yet California has a higher sales tax than we do. And that's one of the things that we do. But here's the thing. Damn and and I'll, give, I'll give Gavin credit. He did at least admit in his first answer. He's joined at the hip with Biden and Harris. He thinks Biden and Harris have done a great job. He thinks the economy is working because of their policies for Americans, and they are not. And so what California represents... Kind of ironic, considering they want to replace Biden and Harris uh, they would with this clown Newsom. Years. Oh, never mind. I thought the wall banger had something interesting to say, uh, in a way like trying to break up the fight or something. Uh, instead, all he, all he did was, uh, we have limited time... <laughs> We have limited time. We only have 30 seconds. <laughs> Some moderator, huh? Jeez. Like I said, Judge Janine or Laura Ingram would have been better in this case. Hell, even Greg Gutfeld would have been better in this case. My God, where does Fox get these people? In any case, that was the debate between DeSantis and... And any twosome newsome. It was a one-off debate, so don't expect another one like this. Um, but nevertheless, it would have been more entertaining to watch had a stronger moderator been there. But in any case, it was still kind of fun, actually, to watch DeSantis really go after Newsom on the issues. And that whole kind of try getting, you know, try that in a small town mentality, you know, like the country song said. But uh, nevertheless enjoyable, even if you hate Hannity every bit as much as I do. This has been the Robozoid saying, well, 
I hope you have enjoyed this video. And if you did, smash that like button and give us a thumbs up, of course. Um, leave a comment, all that good stuff. If you haven't subscribed yet, do that. If you're still subscribed, do it anyway and make sure that you're still subscribed because YouTube does have a habit of unsubscribing people without their prior knowledge. So, I will see you all later. Keep in mind, my friends, as always, that wokeness is weakness, something DeSantis understands, and something that obviously Gruesome Newsome does not. And I'll see you all later. Remember, we always have to have strength in numbers, that power to the people, our voices to be heard, and that is, of course, the greatest power to the music in the streets. Peace!